And then came the final day of judgment. The tensions were high, the town was quiet, and shops were closed. People remained at home, and this was a Thursday. Tensions were mounted as judges did not turn up even two hours after the advertised time. Everyone was wondering what was happening. Those in the court, people locked at home, and the president, whose presidency was being challenged, were all watching on television. I could immediately tell that something was amiss, and it did not bode well for us. The delays made me fear that there was some kind of horse trading, with the greatest respect, because it is not typical of the Supreme Court. They had come in, they were just waiting in the room there, and it took hours. Why? I think the length of the, the wait was commensurate with the, the length and gravity of the matter we had to decide. Um, this was, a, by all standards, a most delicate and uh, all-important national uh, matter. Before we finally come to a very clear decision, sometimes even when people, <laughs> when judges are going into court, it's possible for a judge to say he has changed his mind on this. It does happen. Uh, in the past, even <laughs> it used to happen. So, a matter like this, uh, we wanted to be very, very, very sure of each judge's clear stand on each of the, 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 the issues. And um, because of that, when we had to uh, recap the issues one by one and be, be a record for finality, the stance of each justice, uh, arguments still ensued one way or the other. So we had to fine tune the whole thing uh, so that um, uh, when the decision is rolled out, uh, everybody's uh, position is firmly and clearly captured.